Hello again, everyone! Welcome to a new Let's Play of a Sierra game! Yeah, it was kind of obvious, wasn't it? Ah, but which one could it be? It's one with gratuitous 3D animation! It's... this is... yeah, this is... Gratuitous early 3D animation, I should say. Yeah, it's... it's not so good. Quest for glory, shadows of darkness. Oh look, and uh, some of the red dro dripped and uh, created a little bat. Not a big fan of this uh, um, starting sequence. I mean, you got the gratuitous low res, early 3D, and what looks like just you know someone typed a logo out. I mean, the the words out. I I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. Anyway. Uh, we've got our usual options of create character, import character, restore game, credits, and quit. Well, we're not going to quit. Um, and I'm not going to create a character. I am going to import a character. Please insert your saved character disc from any of the first three Quest for Glory games into Sala, is that you? So that your hero can make the journey to Quest for Glory, Shadows of Darkness. Yep. Narration is by uh, John Rhys Davies himself. All right, let's uh, do that. Let's go ahead and import. Your character has been successfully imported. Welcome to Shadows of Darkness. Thanks. Redundant title is redundant. Your character has been imported as a paladin. Only if this is incorrect, indicate your profession below. Otherwise, select continue. So you could change to fighter, thief, wizard, or paladin. Uh, I am going to leave it as a paladin, of course. Let's go ahead and continue. Alright, so we've got uh, 100 points available. As you can see, I did not get uh, all of our stats up to uh, um, 300 in the previous game. Um, I was not able to get climbing boosted up at all. Uh, I didn't have any real opportunities to uh, pick locks. Uh, and stealth I didn't get up, but, uh, throwing, dodge, parry, weapon use, those are all, uh, um, up pretty high. Stamina is maxed out, agility, vitality are maxed out. Um, and we have a new skill, acrobatics. And if we, uh, use our points, uh, we can get that to 100 right there. Not sure if we can, uh... Yeah, so it's either you can basically use all of the points to uh, in to add a single new skill. Um, let's see, so you could uh, basically it's it is one for one on uh, other skills, but uh, go ahead and grab acrobatics. Everything else is good, so let's go ahead and start. What the hell is this? You awaken from nightmares of flying and falling. You find yourself in this strange place. The only illumination, an eerie green glow. You've lost your weapons and the contents of your backpack somewhere during the journey. Damn it! All you have are the clothes and armor on your back. This leaves you with four burning questions. Where's my wallet? Where are you? How did you get here? Who brought you here? And how in blazes can you get out of here? I don't know, let's just give up now. No, make that five burning questions. What city did your luggage end up in this time? Probably Abu Dhabi. Alright, so we've got this uh, little eyeball icon that moves around. Uh, we have this uh, hand icon, the fingers move, and it looks like a uh, severed ghoul claw. Uh, our walk icon looks like uh, little feet. Uh, one thing that I don't like about this is that you... The nice thing about the like the stick figure walk icon is that it, it always uh, um, the center point was uh, right there in the uh, lower left corner. Well, not the center point, but the uh, the pointer point uh, was at the lower right corner of the foot. Oh, and um, our mouth icon has fangs. Yeah, I, I'm, but I'm sure that's unrelated. I'm sure we will not see meet any vampires in this clearly evil place. Well, let's uh, take a look around. You are in a large cave, dimly lit by glowing lichen on the walls. Yeah, I don't like it very much. Strange, irregular outcroppings of stone grow from the ground. 
looking like the skeleton of some enormous beast. Here and there, petrified human bodies seem to grow half in, half out of the floor and walls. Oh, so, uh, we had a problem with a uh, phase cloaking device, huh? Alright, let's, uh... You search the desiccated body. The only still usable item is a dagger Sweet. which you pick up. However, lying around the bones are some coins. Five golden coins, each have a crown stamped on them. The thirteen small copper coins, each stamped one kopeck. Monies! Yes, we have some monies now. So, let's see, we've got... This simple money pouch contains all the money you have with you. Crowns, six. Kopecks, 13. Total weight, 19. And plate mail armor. Wait, that should either be plate armor or plate and mail armor. Game. It weighs 2,100 quarks. The plate mail armor consists of sections of metal plates welded to flexible chain links for superior protection. You wear leather padding underneath the armor. Um, how do I see what my total weight is? Oh, well, whatever. The, the desiccated corpse is half buried in the rock of the cave floor. Lovely. You are in a large... Oops. The deteriorated corpse has grown part way into the cave wall. Uh, that's more like the floor, actually. It's a rotted, ancient... Half buried in the cave wall. Apparently, John Rhys Davies said that this was one of the uh, hardest things he's ever done because of the uh, sheer number of lines he had to read. You were in a line. Oh, same thing. It looks like a torch, but there doesn't appear to be any pitch or other flammable material on it. Oh, that doesn't seem fun. Well, what do we have up here? This is some kind of altar to the Dark One. The Dark One? The top is covered oh God. in sand. It's a robot holocaust! The torch holders flank the altar to provide light for nameless rites and unspeakable rituals. Well, they're just unspeakable because uh, um, mute people uh, uh, take part in them. It's, 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 not, it's not nice to uh, uh, speak of their uh, d disabilities. Let's go ahead and search here. You take the torch. Oh, thank you. Uh, does this corpse have anything on it? Find 30 assorted copper and gold coins on the body. Sweet. Money's good. A brief search reveals a piece of hard gray rock, which you take, and some coins. Three crowns and 13 kopecks. I got a rock. All right, well, um... Flint. It weighs two quarks. Yeah, we. You have a small. Pe you have a small gray piece of flint, much like the one described in your famous adventurer's survival course manual in the fire starting section. You vaguely remember something about using flint and steel together. You strike a spark with the flint and dagger to light the torch. Yay! It, it's that's that's got a green flame. That that seems unhealthy. Well, I don't know if that's going to really do much good for me, but, uh... You are in a lot. It seems to be a kind of stone valve acting as a door to the passageway beyond. Oh, that sounds fun. You are in a... My, you're looking heroic today. You are currently... Oh, yes, this is how you see your uh, total weight. You are currently carrying 2,259 quarks. The most you can carry without strain is a load of 10,260 quarks. Well, that should be fun. Well, uh, let's go see if we can uh, get out of here. Operate the door! Or valve, or... thing. Maybe we'll be able to figure out where we are. Force the sphincter open with your dagger. The sphincter says what? Through. You've made it into a large chamber. Stone valves, like the one you just passed through, apparently block three other passageways. There is a huge stone altar in the center of the room, and an exit to the south. There better not be a um, giant creature up here with a uh, hole in its chest. Let's take a look at this thing. The rough stone altar is covered with dark stains 
as of blood long since dried to powder. You'll feel a creepy, uneasy sensation whenever you pass near it. I'm sure it's fine. Actually, let's uh, take a look at that. The corpse has long since decayed into a dry husk, but his shield seems to be in pretty good condition. Cool. Lying next to the dead warrior are a battered sword and a coin pouch. Ooh, gimme. Monies. And, and, and sword. I, I am a paladin. I, I could use a sword. And a shield. And, and monies! You gratefully retrieve the shield and battered sword from the dead warrior. You hope that they will serve you better than they did their last owner. Excellent. Uh, what about the money? That didn't do... That did... That did... That did... That did... Did I, did I get the money too? I don't know how many coins I had before. Uh, 17 crowns and 68 quarks. I am not sure if we, uh... That... That... You're in the heart of the cave. Stone valves close off passageways I guess I got the coins. in all directions. In the center of the chamber is a bleak stone altar covered with dark stains. Well, at least they're not light stains. You're in the heart of... Oops. A stone valve blocks this passageway to another part of the cave. A stone valve... A stone... Alright, it doesn't look like I can look at those any further. You're in the... You're in... Alright, seriously, it's You're in... You're what in about that? I guess I did get the coin pouch. Alright, whatever. Well, let's see if we can go into uh, any of these other things. Try as you might, the stone valve will not open. Perhaps Man, this that is the right time. That is one tightly closed sphincter. What about this over here? Try as you might. Of course. Perhaps it isn't the right time. Try as you might. All right. Well, um, did a little test. Ooh, actually, uh, let's uh, bump up the uh, the detail there. Uh, do that. Let's uh, see if this makes it any different. I uh, honestly do not remember the combat system very much in this game, other than uh, dying to. As a you approach the exit, easy you are enemy. confronted by two flying creatures. Very they first have time bat I played. Wings and spider like bodies. Ew. Oh wow, that's loud. Okay. I am how do I how do I attack? There we go. Ow! There we go. Alright. In a bitter battle you were better than the batters. What do you I think I got butt too? Why do I think I got poisoned? Uh, I think I got poisoned. Uh, let's see. Where is my character sheet? Yep. I am poisoned. Hmm. Hope we can take care of that somehow. Uh, I don't suppose I can search the batter corpses? The batter wasn't carrying any valuables. Besides, its body is really gross. Oh. I might be able to use them for spell components. All right, well, let's go out this way. Something deadly lies in wait nearby. I'm sure it's fine. Sure it's fine. Oh, all right, we'll save. There's an automatic save? <gasps> Actually, let's uh, start with a temp save. Well, let's see if we can just go down there. Oh, what's the worst that can happen? Whoa, the ground is really slippery around here. There seems to be a layer of slime all over it. Ew. Gross. Um, hi! Ah! How's that grab you? The tentacle is faster than the eye. It's strong, too. As you are unceremoniously yanked to the horror and taken apart. Well, uh, restore? All right, so uh, maybe maybe we don't want to do that. You can see the entrance to a large cave at the bottom of the pit. You catch an occasional glimpse of a horrid, multi-tentacled monster just inside the cave. Oh God, we're in hentai land. This is the entrance to a smaller cave, or perhaps a second outlet from the large one. There is a broad stone ledge on this side of the rope bridge. The strong wind in this cave is blowing the plants towards a passage on the left side of the chasm. 
Such cave drafts commonly indicate an exit of some sort. Eh, I don't believe it. A heavy rope bridge spans the deep chasm. Hmm. Uh, well... Oh, incidentally, there is this uh, new icon here. Acrobatics. Why would you want to jump there? Uh, because I can. Why would... The pit is too wide to jump. Oh. Uh, what if we uh, just look... A deep pit fills most of this hallway. A rope bridge spans the narrowest stretch of the chasm. All right. Well, uh, we did well on rope bridges before, right? Uh, let's uh, test the rope. Cautiously test the rope before crossing. It feels as though it's firmly anchored on both ends of the chasm. Uh, cross hand over hand. Yay! Points. You just barely made it across the pit. And the tentacle monster wasn't able to get us. Uh, can we take the rope? A rope might be useful, but it's firmly attached on both ends. You think about cutting it loose, but then decide that you may have to come back this way again. Oh, sure. Enough already. All right. So I believe the fly across option would be the uh, for the uh, wizard. A person. Oh, that that almost ate me. That looks like an alien. Out of the cave. Just in time to avoid being crushed by its closing jaws. It wanted As to eat me! mouth closes behind you, you feel a strange warning tingle. There is danger here, although its source is not immediately clear. I don't know, the mouth... cave mouth kind of seems obvious to me. Just gonna put that out there. You are Hello, lady. lady! Only one person has ever walked away from there before. Well, make that two. Who are you? How did you get here? Oh, <laughs> there are so many questions I want to ask you. But I got all the time, lady. Quickly. It is so dangerous out at night in Mordavia. It, it's nighttime? The town is due north of here. Be careful. There are many bad things wandering around. Good luck. Well, I'll protect you. Oh, by the way, my name is Katrina. I hope we meet again sometime. Oh, I'll be around. Don't Farewell. worry. I'm I'm kind of stuck here. Wait, where are you going? I. Uh, but uh, pal paladin powers to protect. <sighs> Why do the girls always do this? All right, let's uh, take a look at that. Looks like the jaws of some horrid creature, waiting to chew up and swallow anyone who should be so foolish as to try to enter the cave. Nom 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 nom. Uh, what Icky, do we have out here? Greasy, grimy goo flows close Ew. beneath your path at this point. The archway above the path is inscribed with eight arcane symbols. You recognize seven of them, from Arcania 101, no doubt, as the symbols of blood, bone, breath, essence, heart, the mouth, and the senses. The eighth is new to you. It looks a bit like a six-tentacled starfish, or perhaps more like a squished squid. Something about the symbol fascinates and scares you at the same time. Clearly, that's the uh, symbol for uh, um, Tentacle Hentai Land. All right, let's uh, see if we can pry this thing off the wall. It looks like it can be pulled off. To pulse with energy and comes loose in your hand when you touch it. You have the feeling that you may need this sign. So oh my God! So railroady. Your pack. Well, let's uh, take a look at that. Dark One sign. It weighs two quarks. Dark One? It is the robot holocaust! God damn it! Uh, well, at least that means that uh, we're in uh, Central Park. Something about this bronze symbol makes your skin crawl. It looks vaguely like a stylized octopus with only six tentacles. Uh, what about this? Magical torch! Ooh. You light and extinguish this torch in the usual way, but it's obviously magical since it never seems to burn down. Sweet! Shield! The best offense requires good defense. This shield helps keep you uh, yeah. helps keep you alive long enough to do both. Sword. It weighs 420 quarks. The sword is rather battered and worn. You can't get it to hold a proper temper. Uh, we are trying to temper it out here. Still, it's better than fighting barehanded or even with a dagger. 
I, I think that might is maybe that's supposed to mean can't get it to hold the proper edge. Uh, just saying. All right. Well, uh, now that we've taken uh, something that's nail not la na not nailed down, let's go ahead and leave. Oh, that's uh, it's an interesting rock there. This tall standing stone has been carved. So that the top looks like a squid is perched. Sure, sure, that's what it looks like. It doesn't like. look particularly stable. Uh huh. Uh, hmm. Great. Well, let's a look around. A pool of sticky, greasy looking slime dominates this area below the cave. A stream of that's slimy goo slime. oozes down the right side, and goo dripping on the path makes it slimy and treacherous as well. Uh, it's a good thing that I've got uh, super awesome boots of uh, non-slipperiness. pool of sticky, greasy-looking slime dominates this area below the cave. A stream of slimy goo oozes down the right side, and goo dripping on the path makes it slimy and treacherous as well. Oh, great. That, that sounds not fun. Twisted, sick-looking tree holds tenuously to the central island. Aw, oh, poor tree. Uh, is there Ooh, anything else? Sticky green. Nope. All right. Well, uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just uh, walk there. La -da 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 -da. The path is dripping with slimy goo. You're having a hard time maintaining your footing on it. It'll be fine. I'm a hero. Oh, hey, I'm not poisoned anymore. I didn't know that wore off. Sweet. Wee. Ugh. Now I gotta clean my pants. Ugh. Yuck. Uh, do I have the healing thing? You now have the paladin ability to heal. With the spell, you may heal yourself or others, but it will use some of your... St oh, yeah, that's right. I don't want to use stamina right now. Uh, it's really low. Um, can I, can I rest for ten minutes? After some rest, you feel better. Good. After some rest, you feel... Oh hey, it's uh it's getting getting lighter out. That's good. Your danger sense tingles. You sense deadly danger from the swamp. It might have something to do with the grasping disembodied arms. I'm sure not. I I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. La -da 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 -da. What's really what's the worst that could happen? Hi, right, look, let's just shake the hand. Come on. Really, what's the worst that could happen? You aren't strong enough to maneuver through this mucky moor yet. You'll need to build up your leg muscles a bit before you can get anywhere in this swamp. Oh. But I wanna I wanna go. Oh, then they're not they're not gonna come get me? You are so exhausted. That oh. Everything you do hurts. Better get some rest. I'm sure it'll be fine. And we died. Breaking strain. Talk about overexerting yourself. That last little move wore you out so much it hurt. In fact, it hurt so much it killed you. Uh, take it easier next time. Okay. Well, that was uh, awfully abrupt. Well, let's uh, let's head north. She did. Oh, hey, it's it's not gross and disgusting anymore. I like this area. It's awfully pretty. A nice little stream. A babbling brook chatters its way through the forest. Shut up, brook! No yeah, of course nothing happened. I uh, clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, da, 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 da. You were in the western part of the forest. An old road once led to the east. Only after careful searching do you manage to find traces of the road to the south as well. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's uh, just continue heading north. Hmm. Grey rocks litter the ground everywhere. Reminders of glaciers long since past. Uh, it wasn't quite what I was looking at. You are in the western part of the forest. But that does uh, remind me. You grab a handful of rocks. Whoops. I didn't expect you, you to a switch to the rocks. You grab a. You grab a. All right, that should be good. Have a few rocks for uh, throwing. 
Uh, what is that? A little bunny! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, look at the little bunny! You are near the north. You are near the. You are near the. You are near the. Oh, um, that 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 bunny looks like it's uh got blood on its lips. Yeah! Killed the rabbit! Killed a rabbit, killed a rabbit. Cute, innocent, well, maybe not exactly. Little Bunny has been viciously slaughtered and now looks like a roadkill. Well, I think it was trying to get me. There is absolutely nothing in the little rabbit's fanny pack. Well, maybe a pocket watch, but you don't need one of those. Oh! It took the Avatar's pocket watch! Yes, that, that was indeed a Vorpal Bunny. It was indeed a Vorpal Bunny. Uh, can I not go north anymore? Alright, um, apparently it wasn't directly north from where we were. I guess we gotta go over this way to find the town. Ah, that looks like the town! Just past the hill, you can see cultivated fields and a walled town. Sweet! Oh, uh, I missed what that was. The hungry hunting hawk alertly searches for signs of game not already claimed by the forest monsters. Um, there's some, uh, dead Vorpal Bunny back there. Just past the hill, you can... Just... Oh, alright, I don't know, uh, what the second thing was gonna be, but, oh well. Bye, Hawk! Don't slay anything. Hey, pumpkins! Some beautiful giant pumpkins are growing in the field. Tall shocks of corn have been harvested and wait here to be stored for the winter. What is winter coming? The villagers have erected a scarecrow to keep birds away from the newly harvested corn. The town gates, made of massive oak logs, are currently wide open. There is a heavy oaken bar to secure them at night. Oh, that's good. Twin towers stand over the town wall, massive silent sentinels over the gate. Twin towers. The walls of the town rise majestic. The walls of the town rise majestically above you. I cut it off a little bit. There. One of the tall trees of the forest frames the town gate like a natural archway. I don't know. I think it's a little bit far to actually frame the gate. Twin. T the walls of the. T All right. Well, let's actually go in next episode now that we've actually made it to town and we've killed a poor innocent little vorpal bunny that wanted to rip our throat out ah <sighs> feels good to uh destroy the wildlife see you next time everyone